What can possibly happen when someone overdoses on bupropion? Let's take a journey into the medical mystery of a 29-year-old woman who intentionally overdosed on this medication. Bupropion, also known as Welbutrin, is a drug often prescribed for anxiety and migraines, but in high doses it can bring about a host of troubling symptoms. This patient in particular came in with a constellation of symptoms that included confusion, vomiting, and a series of seizures. It's a disturbing picture, isn't it? But it's important to remember that these symptoms, while severe, are actually quite typical for a bupropion overdose. It's a challenging situation for any medical professional to navigate, but it's also an opportunity to learn more about the effects of this drug and how to manage its toxicity. Now that we know the situation, let's delve into the medical facts. An overdose can reveal itself in many ways. In this case, it was through the patient's vital signs and lab results. Her heart was racing at 124 beats per minute. Her blood pressure was a little low, but within the normal range, and her body temperature was stable. Breathing was also stable, but she needed intubation to maintain an oxygen saturation of 97%. The lab results were more telling. They showed an elevated lactate level of 9.5 millimoles per liter and mild hypokalemia, with a potassium level of 3.2 milliequivalents per liter. The anion gap was 20, and liver enzymes were normal, ruling out liver damage. Toxicology was negative for common overdoses like acetaminophen, aspirin, and ethanol. The patient's electrocardiogram revealed a fast heart rate and prolonged QRS and QTC intervals, indicating potential heart rhythm problems. These findings paint a clear picture, bupropion toxicity. Bupropion toxicity, a severe condition that requires immediate attention. Our patient's symptoms, confusion, vomiting, and multiple seizures fall squarely within the realm of bupropion toxicity. This is particularly concerning as the toxic dose for an adult is over 600 milligrams for immediate release formulations. The patient's heart is also showing signs of stress. The electrocardiogram reveals sinus tachycardia with a heart rate of 128 beats per minute. The QRS complex duration is 106 milliseconds and the QTC interval is a concerning 495 milliseconds, indicating potential cardiac dysrhythmias. Furthermore, our patient has mild hypokalemia, a deficiency of potassium in the bloodstream. This could be contributing to the cardiac symptoms and will require correction. The intentional nature of the ingestion and the multiple seizures experienced by the patient point to a high risk of further complications. With a diagnosis in place, it's time to consider the treatment plan. In managing an overdose, time is of the essence and every decision counts. Our treatment plan begins with intravenous sedation using medications such as midazolam, fentanyl, and possibly propofol. This helps to control the patient's seizures and alleviate stress on the body. Simultaneously, we conduct regular electrocardiograms to closely monitor the patient's heart rhythms. If the QRS complex duration exceeds 120 milliseconds, we administer sodium bicarbonate to counteract the toxic effects of bupropion. We also place great emphasis on electrolyte monitoring and replacement, especially potassium, which when low, can contribute to cardiac symptoms. Seizure management is another crucial aspect of our plan, where we might use benzodiazepines or even phenobarbital if seizures persist. In the aftermath of stabilization, a psychiatric evaluation becomes vital given the suspected intentional overdose. Continuous lab work monitoring and ICU care complete our comprehensive approach to treatment. In the face of an overdose, medical professionals must act swiftly and decisively. It's a matter of life and death.